got plenty to do today. First thing is I want to try and get those uh, that motor repaired. I've got to try and find out what's wrong with it. I've had a couple of ideas from uh, people in the club, so uh, uh, I'm going to do that. But just before that, I need to um, do a job for a customer, which is to, to make a book, some new bushes for this uh, rudder for a yacht. And amazingly, the new parts for the drill press have arrived from France. This took forever, and I was about to see if I could get my money back thinking they'd never arrive, but they are here. So I'll do that on a separate video though, because it's not really submarine related, but it needs to be done with some without my drill press at the moment. First of all, a cup of tea, and then we'll get on with that motor. what I can do with this motor. Now I had a suggestion that you can, it might be to do with the alignment of the, the spindle of the bearings. So what I'm going to do, undo it. Slightly adjust these, see if the sound is any different. But the only problem is I'm on my own. Now how am I going to get that button? Yes. Right, you ready? Yeah. Right, just press it now and hold it on for a second. Stop. Right, if I tap on the hull, it means stop or start, all right? Okay. So, Two. No, just keep it on. Keep it on. Stop. What are you trying to do? Well, there was. Um, just put your finger on that red power lead that goes in. There, is that warm? Or what? No. When I was underwater the other day, I was getting like overheating on one of the cables and the oil in here. Don't press it, whatever you do, John. My fingers are in it, in the way. One of the cables was, uh, well, the oil was really horrible and horrible coloured. Right, press it on again. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. They're amazingly powerful, and I'm diving. You don't yeah. have to be here. Well, you've seen the video. Yeah. When you're this far off the ground, you switch them on, it sends massive big plumes of sand up. Yeah. All right, John, that'll do. So I don't know about this. I mean, it just doesn't seem to be anything really wrong with it. I think I'm just going to fill it up and hope for the best. Really can't. It did make some different noises, but... Right, what I'm going to do here is um, I need to get the trailer to further over to the wall. It's really difficult the way we went when I back it in. It's, it's difficult to get it tight up against the wall, but as you can see, I'm really limited with space in here. So I've got this idea. But I'm going to put another a jockey wheel on there, like that. I can jockey this end up. I can use the front jockey wheel to jockey up the front and then the, the jack and hopefully shuffle it sideways. I don't know if it's going to work, it might need another jockey wheel, it might need four jockey wheels, but I'm going to give it a go, see what happens. I haven't done that, 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 I haven't done that,
this one for something else, so there's nothing lost here. So let's just uh, get this slapped on. Didn't quite get through, so I'll film it. Right, what do you think? Success or total miserable failure? Well, let's have a go. Let's see what happens. Lift it up, maybe. So. Now I've got a flat wheel as well. Hmm, what about if I put a different wheel on? A more sturdy wheel. <laughs> 